Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. And today we've got something a little interesting um, to show you. So, behind the scenes, for the past few months or so, I've been working on improving my CRT you know, knowledge and repair skills. Um, mainly so I can repair my own CRTs. Um, and it's just good knowledge to have. I mean, you know, this is sort of a dying you know, technology we're talking about here. You know, in the in the next like ten or twenty years, a lot of these CRTs could be dying. You know, arcade monitors, consumer grade CRTs, PVMs. So it's good skill to have, um, to be able to you know, repair and refurbish CRTs. So yeah, for the past few months I've been learning that, um, and yeah, I've got some cool kit to show you here. So this is a CRT rejuvenator and tester and I will bring the camera close and we can take a bit of a close look at it in a second and then to the right here I've got just a random 22 inch um, I believe it's black stripe let's see yeah black stripe it's upside down but black stripe Toshiba uh, it says Toshiba underneath the uh, degaussin wire here um, yes uh, it's from a Toshiba 22 inch colour TV from around 1984 so it's quite an old tube um, unfortunately I had to throw the TV away because essentially they were given the TV away for free uh, but it had been sat in the rain for two days and of course most people are going to be like that's that's you know I don't want to touch that um, but you'd be surprised if <laughs> CRTs that have been in the rain can survive as long as you dry them out let them dry completely. Um, however, this was obviously a 1984 uh, wood grain uh, colour TV, so the the wood was warped and unfortunately there was a lot of dust inside and it got wet and it was like sludge on the board. And to be honest, I mean, it only the TV only had an RF anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. So I threw that out, I salvaged the tube, however, I don't know if it works the person who gave me the TV says that it worked before they put it outside so in theory hopefully this should work but we're gonna find out today by testing it and here we are this is the tester and rejuvenator sorry for the sunlight coming in it's quite a sunny day but anyway <laughs> so yes it's a tester and rejuvenator so this is a piece of kit from the 70s and Mostly you find these from the like the sixties or seventies. They did make these in like the eighties and nineties, but they're not so common. They're very hard to find. I would love to get one from like the eighties or nineties, but they were much more common in the sixties and seventies. I mean, essentially, I bought this so I can test CRTs mainly, just so I can test the red, green, and blue emissions on the guns and by using this. It tells me whether it's good or bad. So I know, you know, if the tube's good or how long it's got left. And that's mainly what I bought it for. But you can rejuvenate, which is this button here. This red button. And it's got three options here. We've got rejuvenate 1, 2 and super rejuvenate. And essentially rejuvenation is just sending a high amount of voltage through each of the colour guns uh, separately. You choose which one, of course. Yeah, and it just <laughs> rejuvenates the uh, the guns, essentially. So if you've got a dim tube or one of the colours is not as bright as the others, you can try and rejuvenate it. I think it sends like a thousand kilo uh, a thousand volts, sorry, which is like one kilovolt. Of course, there is different options. And super rejuvenation, I have no idea how much volts that is. Uh, who knows? So yeah, but rejuvenation isn't really something that works that well for example rejuvenation can actually kill a tube even if it's working perfectly fine or you only rejuvenate for like a second which you're supposed to do anyway it can just kill it off so it's one of those things you only want to do if a tube is on its way out and there's no chance of saving it try rejuvenation but it's something that probably won't last long it's not a permanent fix Sometimes it might last hours, might last days, might last 
months or maybe even years, who knows. It's one of those things that isn't really something you should rely on. It's just something to give you a bit more life out of a tube. So like I said, I bought this mainly for testing, but it's cool to have the rejuvenation. So anyway, with this tube next to me, we're only going to test it, we're not going to rejuvenate. Like I said, I think it's a good tube. Um, it's a bit of a weird size, it's 22 inch. So there isn't much things I can actually use this for, but... So if something happens to it, it's fine. It's just a spare tube I salvage for free. So let's just test it out. Also, something I forgot to mention is this. This is a bundle of adapters. So essentially, um, this is where, you know, you this is the socket. So, for example, I can plug this in here. And then it comes out to different sort of CRT bases. So we've got all sorts of weird ones here like this one. Yeah, different shapes and sizes. And uh, there's a whole bunch here. I believe there's 10 or 12. If we have a look at the manual here, it does say, there we go, so here, yeah there's 12, so they're the sockets, they are numbered, yeah they are numbered, I don't know if you can see that, it doesn't want to focus, but yeah they're numbered and it tells you which ones they are for, but of course all these adapters that I have uh, old school ones and not really useful for me. There are some that might be useful. For example, I believe it's one of these. I think it's a monochrome, you know, black and white uh, socket. Uh, of course, this can do black and white as well. And the cool thing about that is I wouldn't actually use it for a black and white CRT, I'd use it for a monochrome CRT. For example, you know, like a green or an amber display. For like a vintage computer, that's a really good use case for the black and white, you know, side of this rejuvenation tester. But anyway, I need to make my own custom adapter, which is what a lot of people do when they get these kits. They make their own adapter to fit the more modern CRTs. So what I did was I cut one of the adapters up. Uh, I really don't like doing that because it's an original part. It's a shame to have to you know, destroy one of them, but I can reuse this if I need to, but I picked this weird sort of connector, which I've never seen before. Um, so, basically there was a socket that adapts to two of these. So I cut it off, and I attached it to a CR23 socket. So, I don't know if you can see that I've kind of attached it and I've heat shrinked all the connections and then I've got these hanging off. They are clipped off so there's no bare wire exposed and there's a socket there. So that is my custom adapter. Uh, not the cleanest but it's not so easy to do. So anyway, let's go and test this tube. Alright, before I test the tube I just wanted to show some of the stuff I was working on making this adapter. Now excuse my handwriting, it's really bad and uh, I can have to lean over the desk to write but uh, on this whiteboard. But anyway, this is the plug, so this is um, this side of the adapter. And these are different depending on what rejuvenator you get. They're all like got their own sort of pin out. This one, as you can see, has 11 pins. These ones crossed out are ones that I don't need. And this base is the uh, socket I was adapting it to. This is non-connected, uh, not connected, so those aren't connected. H is for heater. On the plug it was labelled, the pinout in the manual was labelled as fill for uh, pins 1 and 11 which is filament uh, which is the same as the heater, they just use a different word I guess, they call it filament but most, most of the time it's called H which is heater so those connect to them and that's pretty much it. You've got the red which is also black and white, you've got the blue and the green, you've got the G1 which is the screen and you got the G2, which is for the um, RGB cutoff uh, voltage. And yeah, that's that. So down here, I also labeled the colors because the colors obviously correspond to the. It just made it a lot easier to um, connect this adapter up. Okay, and yeah, so this just connects like so. Just be careful with it like that. 
And this is your standard adapter, CR23 is quite common. Maybe a different pinout for different tubes, but this is quite a common CRT socket. Right, and then all we do is we connect this to the uh, CRT tester, uh, like so. So just make sure that's right. Yeah. It can only go in one way anyway, so there we go. Okay, and this is, um, sorry about the angle, this is like the best angle I can get, so essentially what we want to do first is, it's already set to power off, which is the first option, and you kind of just go through the uh, numbers in order, essentially, so first we've got, which is the power off, is select heater voltage, so I've checked on a website for this tube, and I'll put a link in the description for the website, but essentially you type in the model number of the tube and it does have a lot of tubes on there, it might not have every tube, but um, it has a lot, so it tells you what the filament uh, slash heater voltage is. So we've got options here like 0 to 3 volts, 3 to 5, 5 to 8. So I know this tube is 6.3 volts, so we're going to go to 5 to 8. Okay, so that's selecting the uh, heater voltage. So then we want to go to adjust heater. So there we go, it's powered up. We want to adjust heater. And then we want to adjust um, the heater until it's at 6.3 volts. So I'll adjust it until it hits 6.3. There we go, so that's 6.3. 6.3 has its own uh, sort of uh, display here because it's quite a common voltage for the heater. So then next, we've got HK leakage. So if you go to that, essentially we just want to uh, switch between the guns. This is the gun control for red, green and blue. And as long as we don't get anything here, we've got no leakage, so. Then we want to go to uh, G1 leakage. Same thing here, just switch the guns. Yeah, got nothing, which is good. And then we want to go to set G1 voltage. Now G1 voltage uh, is for the screen brightness and that is also on the website, I, I'm going to link in the description, it tells you the G1 voltage that the tube uses. So G1 voltage is here, so I'm going to change this until it goes to 50 volts, because that's what this one uh, needs. So there we go, we're at 50 volts. And at this point the tube is, the heater is lit. So I'm going to turn the lights out and I want to show you the tube, hopefully you can see the neck glow. And there you go, you can see the neck glow. That's showing you that this uh, adapter is working and the heat is on. Okay, so we set the G1 voltage. Now we're going to set cutoff, which is for the G2 voltage, so we go to that. And essentially we want to move the dials for the colours until it goes to the uh, cutoff point which on here is it's labeled set cutoff that little black thick black uh, line so I'm going to adjust each color now until it's on there so now we'll do blue uh, green sorry and we'll do blue there we go so we set the cutoffs and now we want we want to uh, go to the important part. So this is at the point where you can test the emissions, which is basically when you're testing the tube, testing the guns. So we'll go to emission test. Now we're on emission test. And this is the important part for testing. So now that everything's set, we can see the needle is in the green on good, and it's quite high up. Which is good. This is that means that um, the blue gun is good because it's set to blue. So we'll go to green. And it moved a little bit there, but yeah, that is also good. And we'll go to red. 
and that's about the same, maybe a bit lower, reds may be a tiny bit lower, but that's fine. All the guns are pointing quite high up in the green, so that means this tube is pretty healthy. It's a pretty good tube. We can double check these. So yeah, green, blue, and of course the needle isn't, it is accurate but it's not like 100% so it might drift off a little bit but it gives you an idea. See now blue's drifting a bit. But that might happen so anyway it's testing good so the other options we got over here are stuff we're not gonna do but we got color tracking, remove shorts so we can actually if you've got like some sort of foreign material inside the tube that's causing a short you can basically <laughs> put loads of voltage in and sort of vaporize it essentially if there's any foreign stuff in the neck and then obviously like I said before we got the rejuvenation stuff which we're not gonna do maybe in another video we will try the rejuvenation if we've got a really bad tube on its way out but yeah that is the CRT tester rejuvenator I really love this thing it's great it's gonna be put to a lot of use again mainly for testing but one day I might do a video and we can rejuvenate something but yeah I appreciate you guys watching you might see some more videos related to CRT repair. Of course, I'm going to do my normal routine of random videos that of stuff I enjoy. Um, so you might see some arcade videos, vintage computer videos, retro game, console modding stuff, who knows, some repair stuff. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great day and take care.